welcome to Facebook Live. You can hear it's early on a Saturday morning. It's not workshop time yet, uh, but what we've done is come to Ilkeston early this morning. For those of you who have missed the workshop this week, I'd like to talk about something really important. Is fat making you fat? So that has been the discussion this week, and we've been talking about good fats. So you can see in front of me lots of different products which can, do contain a lot of fat. Now this is the big warning guys, beep, 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 listen up, listen up. The first thing to mention is 99% of fatty foods do contain many calories and many points. So it's really, really important to mention when we're talking about good fats, it's important to remember, especially things like oil, just to have an itsy bitsy teeny weeny little bit and that's going to give your body what it needs. Um, and this is why the low fat diet came about because the, the fat situation is so complicated and so complex, it's a little easier sometimes just to think, you know what, just forget all those fats, forget all these fats and I'll lose weight fast. So that may be true but unfortunately our body does need fat uh, and unfortunately for those people who are suffering from arthritis um, and other issues because your body doesn't have enough lubricant, uh, this is why it's so important to have good fats in your body. So let's get going guys, let's talk about these foods in front of me um, and we'll also explain what they do for your body. And most importantly for those people on WW, how many points per serving? So let's begin with the best of the best and that is eggs and salmon. So as we know, eggs and salmon are on the zero point food list, so there's no points in these, and they can be eaten in unlimited amounts. However, it does say, look, there's a red mark under fat, uh, and if I looked at the box also on the egg, it would say red under fat, and that's because they do contain fats. However, these fats are naturally occurring, and they're also fats that are good for our body. Um, and this is why these items appear on the zero point food list. Uh, next up, and this is why we've got a thumbs up. So we've got our thumbs up at this end, and we've got our thumbs down at the other end. Right, next up is rapeseed oil. Um, now I like to use one of these sprayers. Now this is one smart point per five mil. So one smart point per five mil. Now this is Aldi specially selected. Now this is the important bit, it's cold pressed. So cold pressed rapeseed oil. So this is the number one oil to use. Um, and as I said, I use it in a decanter. And I count that basically, one spray of that, it comes out quite a, 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 a spray. Uh, and I class that as one smart point, which is five mil. Um, and the reason this is so good, because it's cold pressed, it hasn't been processed, as I like to say, it hasn't had anyone's fingers in it, um, and that way it can really give you some good health benefits. So I've been asking the members this week, why should I waste one smart point on some rapeseed oil when I could just use fry light? Why don't use fry light? Why use this? Uh, the reason being, guys, is because this has lots of essential fatty acids in um, and will help your nails, help your skin. If I had any hair, I could say it would help my <laughs> hair be shiny. Uh, but most of all, it lubricates your body. Anybody with arthritis, um, it's really important to get those uh, fatty acids inside your body. So this is a good reason why to use one point of your Smart Points Allowance on some good quality oil. So everybody thought olive oil was the key. You know, in the Mediterranean, it's the big thing. So here we have some extra virgin olive oil. Why shouldn't I use this one? It's the same smart points value, one smart point per five mils. The reason being, it says here, extra virgin olive oil, perfect for pasta and salad dressings. So the problem with this is when you cook it, it has a very low burning point and the black smoke comes off and it becomes toxic, which can lead to many health issues. Uh, so this is why we wouldn't recommend olive oil for cooking, but for salads, uh, and as it says on here for pasta, then that's absolutely fine. But do bear in mind, 
they have still got a lot of calories in and a lot of points. So five mil for one smart point. Uh, next up, I know I've been uh, talking about this a lot, but this is almond milk. For 100 mil, it's one smart point. And for your information, for 98 mil, it's zero. Um, for one point also, you can go right up to uh, 300 or just under 300 mils for one smart point as well. So you get quite a lot of this for your points. Um, and the reason I would recommend it, A, because it's low in points, but B, it's also got those good fats in there. So it's an unsaturated fat um, and it is, of course, a source of calcium as well. Um, so that is almond milk, almond milk. I like it on my porridge because it's really creamy. Uh, next up, avocados. Some people love them, some people hate them. I hate the fact that they're 10 smart points per avocado. So for one of these avocados, it is 10 smart points. You have to be really careful with these. However, if you were just to have a little slice on a sandwich with some chicken, or on the top of a salad, uh, it really does give a different um, taste and authenticity as well to foods as well. So I'm a big fan of avocado. Um, a lot of members this week have been saying, oh yeah, I love guacamole. Now, guacamole, if you make it yourself, is obviously a, a very good thing. Uh, but when you do buy it, just bear in mind it can contain milk, um, it can contain uh, sunflower oil. So be really careful uh, when you're buying it. But obviously avocados are highly recommended. Uh, just bear in mind the points. Right, now this is where we start to turn. So now we're going to go from the healthier fats, which are also known as unsaturated, to saturated fats. Now, a lot of people don't know this because this coconut oil says on the front, organic, extra virgin, cold pressed, 100% raw coconut oil. What could possibly go wrong? It's even won a taste award for great taste. Unfortunately, this is saturated fat. So for those of you struggling with a cholesterol problem, uh, this is actually going to make it worse, I'm afraid, because it is saturated fat. Now this works out at three smart points per five grams. So five grams of this is smart points. The reason that we can't do it in mils, for those of you who ever use coconut oil, it's hard. It is actually like real fat. So at room temperature, um, it is saturated. Uh, one of my fellow coaches did uh, share with us this week that anything that's, that's hard at room temperature is saturated fat. So that's another good tip uh, to notice the difference. Um, there is lots of health benefits to coconut oil. I'll just stick up for um, Lucy B and uh, the, the coach, the body coach. Um, and the reason it is so good, um, again, it can bring those essential fatty acids. It's just the fact that it's got the saturated fat in there. Uh, a lot of people use it on their skin, in their hair. I even read online some people are using it to brush their teeth. Imagine brushing your teeth with fat first thing in the morning. Oh, I'm feeling a bit sick. Um, right, now when I've been talking about almond milk, you've probably seen that I've mentioned dairy milk. Now, dairy milk... Um, has again, it's like the coconut oil, it's got some very good properties that do help your body. However, it does contain saturated fat. So it's very similar to the coconut oil. It, it's good for you, it has got some good things for your body, but it also contains saturated fat. Uh, this is full fat milk. Uh, this is actually raw full fat milk as well. Uh, so that's actually got some good benefits on your body. And that works at three smart points per 100 mil. So that's three smart points per 100 mil. Uh, second, we've got semi-skimmed milk, which is two smart points per 100 mil. And then we've got skimmed milk, which is one smart point per 100 mil. So those are the three milks um, that we generally use. And again, I've got the three different kinds. This is just regular one that you'd buy from the shop. Now this one is UHT. And the problem with UHT milk is it's called ultra heat treatment. So that's gone through a very high processing uh, line um, and that just deletes all the nutrition as well. So be really careful with UHT um, because as I said, uh, there'll be no good nutrients in even though it's still got the low in points. And remember, 
The regular milk that you buy from a supermarket is still pasteurised, therefore, again, some of the essential fatty acids have been removed. This is why raw milk is more this way, because although it's quite high in points, it has got some good things uh, for your body. Now, next of all, now this is where it gets really confusing, because this vegetable oil is one smart point per five mil, exactly the same as the rapeseed oil. Um, now this is really cheap, for those of you who've seen, just vegetable oil like this uh, can be a third, sometimes even less of the price of normal oil. Now if I read on the side, the ingredients, rapeseed oil. So why should I pay £1.39 when I can pay a third or a fifth of the price for this very cheap oil? The reason being is because this one is cold pressed, look at the colour. Um, and this one is highly processed, if you have a look at the difference there in the colour. Um, so what they do is they take this to a very high temperature to make it go all nice and uh, see-through and shiny, um, but also so they can make it very, very quickly. This one is cold pressed, so it's physically pressed to get the oil out. This one is boiled up, uh, and when they boil that up, um, it does take away all the good nutrients and all the good fats, turn them into bad fats. Um, it actually makes it toxic as well. Um, and this is why it's really important to, A, not use these sorts of fats, uh, but also if you go to chip shops or restaurants like that, you will also find these fats being used. So again, if you have a little bit now and again, it's not so bad, uh, but on a regular basis, this is where it is going to deteriorate your health. Now, has anybody seen Annabelle? Have you ever seen Annabelle, that really scary movie? She has to be locked in a box because she's so scary. This is why the lard is locked in a box, because it's so scary, guys. So this is lard. I can't even touch it. It's lard, everybody. We all joke about lard at WW. Uh, but in here, per five grams, I'm just looking at my notes, is two smart points per five grams. So remember the coconut oil, this was three smart points for, per five grams. Lard is actually lower in points than coconut oil. So that just goes to show how high in saturated fat coconut oil is. So lard, now I'm not gonna diss it. You guys are gonna think, oh, he's gonna say lard's the worst thing that ever happened. But actually, lard, butter, is naturally occurring. So this is naturally occurring fat and does have some good health benefits on your body. However, you have to use this so, so sparingly. Um, as we've spoken about before, real butter is better for your body because it's got some good benefits. But just be really careful that you're not using too much. And I'll definitely keep that locked up in Annabelle's box. And then finally, the most controversial this week is this. So this is just Fry Light. The Weight Watchers favorite, the Slimming World favorite. Every dieters in the world seems to love Fry Light. I tell you who doesn't like Fry Light? Tefal. And any company that makes uh, pans hates this stuff because it's just full of chemicals. So if it burns away your pan, imagine what it's doing to your internal organs, guys. So uh, on a holistic point of view, uh, as you know, WWE was Weight Watchers used to be about losing weight fast and having the lowest possible calories and the lowest possible points. Now it's holistic pan and we look at your lifestyle. Uh, everybody's started to realize that fry light is actually, do you know what it actually is? You read the ingredients, it's half this, so it's half very low quality oil, and the other half is just chemicals, which again uh, are toxic and can lead to other health conditions. Um, so this is fry light. Um, and it has to go on the end there, guys, because we are looking uh, at our weight loss as a lifestyle and a health point of view. So thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, that was the catch up on good fats. If you'd like to, if you tried any of these and you love any of these or you hate any of these, please leave your comments and I will type and leave you a reply when I get to my phone. Right, so this is it. We're live from Ilkeston. If you're coming this morning, this is what we're talking about. Fats, fats, fats. And as you can see, I bought you some raw milk from the farm yesterday. So if you want to try some raw milk and you've got one, one smart point to spare, 
uh, you can come and have a try this morning. So I'll see you this morning, guys, here at the Flamsteed Centre. Bye.